Queen Elizabeth National Park, the equator. Hi guys, welcome back on this beautiful channel. It's me, Shami Vlog UG, currently in Kasese. Guys, right now I am standing at the Uganda equator. Yeah. Behind me is the monument or sign that shows this entire area is Queen Elizabeth. So I'm going to introduce someone to give us more information about this place since she's from here. Hi guys, I'm called Glasio Adventures. <laughs> so I'm here with Sami Vlog. Welcome to Kasese Sami. Welcome. We are in uh, Queen Elizabeth National Park and this side alone is the equator. Oh. So about uh, the special thing about Queen Elizabeth National Park, we have the we hold uh, the the kingdom of Britain. Oh, okay. And over there, that is the Queen's residence. That one there. Yeah. I see, I see, you can see even the vehicles parking. Any persons coming from UK, uh, from Britain, they can res reside for now. It acts as a lodge, mm. a backpack lodge. Mm. But when the Queen or any person from the palace mm. is in Uganda and is in Kasese, that's where they reside. All right, let me ask yeah. you, was this park named after Queen Elizabeth? Yeah, after Queen Elizabeth, I think the first. Okay, what was its mission name for the name did Queen Elizabeth? Uh, I think I'm not, I'm not uh, sure about mm. it, but we were born when it, is, it was already Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, actually even me. Yeah. So guys, right now we are at the southern part of the equator. The equator, this is an imaginary line an imaginary line that is zero degrees latitude. Oh, and just see my shoe. <laughs> I've just seen it now, actually. So, hey, guys, <laughs> see my shoe. Uh, what are we going to do? I are don't know. I'm you? going to be pulling it. But then, I'm a content creator. I'll just lift it. Me, I don't care. So, guys, I'm going to give you a mini tour of this place. So we are at the zero degrees latitude. This Uganda is one of those countries which which are blessed to have the equator running through them. When you stand on that yellow line, that's the zero degrees latitude. That's the center of the world, guys. So this side is the southern part of the equator and the other side is the northern part of the equator and one special thing about this equator people come from different parts of the world to view the equator line guys and initially if i can give you a small information about this this equator it has been here it has always been here but it was in bad shape yeah, it was in bad shape and they just renovated it to this beautiful site so that's why you can see a lot of people are stopping over to see the newly developed equator line i told you the special thing about this equator line they have parking space designated for almost each and everyone why you see a wheelchair that parking space is reserved for the people with disability and the other parking space the other side is for everyone so they are telling you do not litter guys my shoe has got spoiled but then that doesn't stop us from getting what brought us here so this is called chikorongo equator yeah this is the southern part of the southern hemisphere and the other side is the northern hemisphere so this entire place, when you stand here, you are at a zero degrees latitude area. Okay. So this is how it looks like.
and those who also return do not climb so basically they don't want people to be climbing on top of it it also has uganda equator this is how it looks like let me try to push so that you get a clear view of the equator that is how it looks like so we are currently standing in the northern hemisphere guys i don't know why or is it only me but this place is extremely 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 hot yeah i rarely wear glasses if you see me i wear shades on my channel but today i've decided to wear shades because it's super super hot this is the northern hemisphere and the other one is the southern hemisphere as you know the equator divides the world into two equal parts that's the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere so when i'm standing here i'm standing in the northern hemisphere which is the northern pole or the northern pole and the southern pole and here they have geographical here they have geographical experiments they normally carry out yeah normally they just pour water here and put a leaf then it will either rotate clockwise or and clockwise and it's not only ugandans coming for the equator as you can see we have also whites who have come to tour around this area and this is the zero degrees latitude line as you can see it's really straight it comes up to the equator and remember this is the real line that crosses the world into two parts hi how are you so this is a black box yeah it's a black black stone black stone box we sell their black stones medicine for snake bites and scorpion bites oh can i see so some by a snake but do they work guys yeah, yes, this is a black stone mm. box so when you're bitten put this when you're bitten by a snake, you put this on the bike, sir. Eh? Yeah. So, guys, this is a black stone. It's yeah. medicine for scorpion uh, or snake bites. Oh, if you are bitten by a snake, you put this one on top of the bite. Why you've been, why the, why the snake has bitten you, you put it there. Actually, it sticks. I've never seen someone who has bitten by a snake and they brought that person to the hospital and he had this on them. Then I wondered what was this. Then the doctor told me this is a black stone. This is the first remedy for snake bites. When you put this one to an area or a place where you've been bitten by a snake, actually it sticks there. It sticks until it sucks out all the venom from your body. By the time it falls out, you are free and ready to move without any problem. So if you want a black stone, please come at the equator. Kasese, you get yourself one. Then this equator line is in the middle of Queen Elizabeth National Game Park. If you drive from here a few kilometers, you get the entrance of Queen Elizabeth. But then it's also in Queen Elizabeth, guys. So tell me what is your experience watching the Uganda equator here in Kasese. What do you think about this equator? Do you think it's, it's up standard? Do you think it's low standard? Oh, what comes into your mind when you hear about the equator? Uh, How much, bro? It's just 10,000. 10,000? Yeah. So, guys, you can come here and watch this. So, guys, actually, Joel had decided to pay the 10,000 Ugandan and shillings, but then let us get the information anyway. Yeah. Uh huh. So, you've been using it? So, where are you? $5. $5? Uh, yeah. Hey, for Ugandan, 10,000. Yeah. For non Ugandans, $5. $5 yeah. So, guys, if you're Ugandan like me, you pay 10,000 in Gashin, that's about $3. Two, yeah, $3. Two three, 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 three. three dollars. Yeah, three, three dollars. And then, if you're non Ugandan, uh, you're foreigner, you pay $5. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, the, the difference is the similarities, the yes. Uh, the government. The money government. So, from here, where are you taking the money? The yeah, UTB is the employee of UTB, Uganda Tourism Board. Wow. So you're welcome to the equator line. Come from which side of the country? Kampala. Kampala. From Kampala. Mm. Yeah. So here basically we demonstrate to you the force caused by the Earth's rotation. That force is called the Coriolis effect and comes because of the Earth's rotation. So Coriolis was the French man, the one who discovered this experiment. So he said objects attached to the Earth's surface like hurricanes, giant storms when they are rotating in the north. They rotate anti-clockwise, but here now the water is not attached to the Earth's surface. 
the rotation is clockwise in the northern hemisphere. Why? Because objects in the north are normally deflected to the right, then they turn clockwise in the northern hemisphere. So it's turning so clockwise here. here. The leaf is turning clockwise. This one tells you you're standing in the northern hemisphere where objects are deflected to the right, then they turn clockwise. So this is not the only experiment that shows us the earth rotates. In another experiment, they use a pendulum, and the pendulum was also discovered by a Frenchman who was called Foucault. So when you release a focal pendulum in the northern hemisphere, as okay. it swings, it also turns clockwise. You find it around museums and such universities. A pendulum, the a pendulum bob. Yeah, a focal a pendulum, pendulum. Yeah, you find it around museums and such universities around the world, showing us the same experiment. So we name this bowel polar bears because these animals only stay on the North Pole. And the word polar Arctic bears. is from a Greek word, Arctos. Arctic meaning bears, then Antarctic means no, bears. So now we go to the south and see the difference in the southern hemisphere. So we go to the south. Okay. So guys, we are going to the southern hemisphere. This, it's like basically we are moving from one country to the other, just in Kasese. Boom! I've crossed to another world. <laughs> These are black stones. Okay. Yeah, so now you're welcome. Oh, ah, this is where they are. It's a sentence. No, I, yeah, my shoe. Guys, please, Joel, show them that. So now you're welcome to the land of penguins. Yeah, penguins only stay in the south. Only the Galapagos penguin in Ecuador tries to cross to the north. The rest are in the Antarctic, New Zealand all in the southern hemisphere. So you notice here the leaf is turning anti-clockwise. This one tells you across from the northern hemisphere to the southern hemisphere where objects are deflected to the left. Then they turn anti-clockwise. So the Coriolis effect applies to bullets, rockets, missiles and artillery. Mm -hmm. Aeroplanes in the south via to the left, in the north they via to the right. It's called a jet stream. So let me ask you, if I fire a bullet when I'm in the southern hemisphere, can it cross to the northern hemisphere? The thing is, we are studying about the Coriolis effect, mm. so I was going to, to the bullets, right? Okay. So, uh, likewise, if you shoot a bullet long range in the southern hemisphere, the bullet curves to the left, to the mm. south. And if you shoot it long range in the north, it curves to the right. That's it's called a screen beam. So, it does not work on short range. If in as long as you are in the south far, mm. yeah, then you shoot, the bullet will be curved to the left in Where's the south. Down? Yeah. Yeah, so likewise, launching stations for rockets are always near the equator line because rockets go straight. Oh, okay. From the equator line, they are deflected. That's why, for example, in Europe, they launch rockets at French Pian in South America, closer to the equator line. And in the US, they launch at Florida and Texas because those states are closer to the equator line than the other states. So go to the equator line and see what happens here. So shortly here, here we have a green snake and the green snake is preserved dead. So why do we have it preserved dead? Is that we sell black stones. So uh, this is a black stone, it's medicine for snake bites and scorpion bites. So when you're bitten by a snake or a scorpion, you put this black stone where you've been bitten, and uh, the black stone sticks there like a magnet. After sucking venom, it falls down. Yeah. So, so this black stone is reusable. After using it, you dip it in uncooked milk for 30 minutes. It washes that venom and you again keep it in your first aid box for further use. Oh. <laughs> so what in do case you, you take them? interest to have a black stone, we sell it 50,000. You buy once and for all. Give us sample. We we'll yeah. take that one for us. I, is it not true? We want sample. Let us take the sample. <laughs> so no, in case we are bitten by snake, we we'll come back and take. But for now, we need sample. We go with the sample. <laughs> yeah. No. Now we, we let's go to the. Equator. What do you guys are blackstone? Yeah. First, explain more. Uh, what do the, they? The rangers they do bring them uh, for us and then we sell. Okay. Yeah. What is the raw material of a blackstone? The raw material. Uh, the rangers are the ones who know how they. Oh, it's natural. Them. Yeah. Natural. It's pa partly natural, yeah, but it passes through some artificial yeah, processes. The bones are natural. Huh. Yeah. The raw material. They are made from bones. 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 Oh. Yeah. So that's okay, a snake. but then he said, you said. It's a snake here. Yeah? Is this a snake here? Yeah? Yes. Can we see it, please? Mm -hmm. We do not open it because it is a dead one and uh, we need to give it a piece in this situation. So you know, that's it. So, this, guys, this is a snake. Why did you put that? Why did you put it here? Yeah? Why did you put that? Mm -hmm. Like you are not following. We have a green snake. And why do we have it? Is that we sell a black stone. We oh. sell black stones. That's okay. The People first see the snake before seeing the, seeing the black stone, right? Okay. So now you're welcome to the equator line. Uh, 
this is the line that divides the earth into two equal parts, the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere. So this equator line was first discovered 1700 years back. They were French men in Ecuador. Ecuador is a Spanish word for equator, so they are countries equator in English. So this equator line crosses 15 countries in the world. In South America, it crosses Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil. In Africa, it crosses Sao Tome and Príncipe, Gabon, Congo, Brazil, Nigeria, Congo, Uganda, Kenya, Somalia, Asia, Maldives, Kiribati, Singapore, Indonesia, and Malaysia. The distance of the equator is 40,077 kilometers. You stand here on the equinox day, you don't see your shadow. It happens every 21st of March. 23rd September noon time. Still on the equator line, you weigh lighter. One kg of your weight, centrifugal forces makes you lighter. Here we are far away from the center of gravity than the poles. So let's see what happens here on the equator line. So you notice here on the equator line, the leaves go straight down the drain without rotating. The reason that these, these leaves does not rotate is the same reason hurricanes, cyclones, tornadoes never cross the equator line. They are deflected to the right, to the left, the bulge is created in the middle. So hurricanes only hit countries far away from the equator line where rotation is strong. So thank God that we are born in the pearl of Africa, Uganda. We shall never see hurricanes. In our thank you. Thank you too. Hi, right, brother. So now it's time to pay a brother. Yeah, yeah. 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 Thank you so much, brother. Okay. 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 You're welcome. Keep positive, man. Yeah. You're welcome. Mm. Okay. I hope one day you'll be surprised and tell them about the Yeah. Who yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> explains yeah. that you can tell you Uganda, yeah. guys? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, she's my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, I do manage. Yeah. yeah, but she's saying I can't manage, yeah, and I can manage you more than managing you. Yeah. Yeah. You can manage you more than managing, managing you. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> you accept and also call it. Okay. Give me your contact. So guys, as you can see, a lot of people come here to take basically pictures, but we have come here to get for you good information about the equator. So, so guys. Every time even now. Oh. The equator line. Okay. Guys. Way lighter. Okay, guys. If you sit here for the whole day, you lose weight. So I guess this will be better for me since I'm not good at exercise. Yeah. Yeah. And on every 20, 21st and 20, 23rd September and 21st March, you, when you stand here on the equator line, you don't see your shadow. Hopefully that will be another season if I come this side. I pray I come in that time and experience that. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you've watched this very end, I remember sharing your content creator from Kampala, Uganda.